Hello everyone, uh, welcome back, uh, here's Van Amsen and today uh, we got a really interesting coding problem that's going to deepen your understanding of basic data structure, uh, so stack and queues. So we will be implementing a stack using just queues. Yes, you heard it right. So let's quickly go over the problem. We have to implement a stack using just queues. So the stack should suppose uh, four basic operations. So it will be push, pop, top, and uh, empty. And at first glance, you might think, wait, stack and queue are entirely different. So how can one mimic the other? Well, that's the beauty of this problem. And I will show you exactly how to do this. All right, so uh, let's dive into Python coding. And also I will provide code in other programming languages in the description below. So first we will start with uh, init uh, function. So Q will be our uh, DQ. Then what we will do uh, is implement push. So self Q append uh, X and four in range of len self Q minus one uh, self Q append self Q pop left. Uh, so uh, in uh, init uh, we just importing uh, and initializing uh, a, a DQ, so empty queue, and then uh, we implemented push. And the push method is where the magic happened. Uh, so after appending new element, we rotate Q to make sure the last element end up at the front. Why? Because we want to mimic a stack and the last element pushed uh, should be the first one to be uh, popped. So now let's implement uh, pop. So return self q pop left. So, uh, yeah, maybe. so uh, we have implemented a uh, pop method. So the pop method is straightforward. Uh, since we have rotated the queue in the push method, the element to pop is right at the front. So uh, now uh, with uh, top. So top will be return self q0. Uh, so again, top is simple method because of the work we did in push. It just returned the front element of our q. And uh, now uh, empty method. So return len self q equal uh, zero. So lastly, empty checks if the queue is empty. So uh, signifying that the stack is uh, empty. So if it's equal to zero, it's uh, empty. So now let's uh, run test to verify it's working. So yeah, for test cases, all uh, is good. And uh, we created an uh, object, uh, my stack, and then uh, we uh, tested some uh, particular method like push, uh, yeah, push one, push two, uh, top, pop, and empty. So now uh, we can uh, submit it for unsynthesized cases to verify it. So yes, our implementation bit 63% with respect to uh, runtime and the time complexity is uh, O n. So it's linear and yeah, so next run and it's uh, 36 millisecond uh, and uh, complexity is O n, so linear because of the rotation, but pop, top uh, and uh, empty are O one uh, space complexity. Uh, so uh, O n uh, in total. And there we have it, a stack implemented using just a, a Q. And this exercise is a great way to understand the underlying operation of the basic data structure. And remember, the codes for other languages are in the description. And yeah, I think my uh, first run was even faster. You can see that this is exactly the same implementation and yeah, it took just 24 uh, milliseconds. So probably there is some uh, standard deviation on uh, test cases. So yeah, between 99 and 74. Uh, so uh, if you found this video 
helpful and know how to implement stack using Q, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more awesome uh, coding adventure. And uh, yeah, so see you in the next one. Keep practicing and happy coding.